No Limit World we live in. Yo, yo, welcome to the No Limit Podcast, also known as the H2O kind of odd cast. Took a sip, tasted like hot ass. It's the pipe that leads to your sink, any bowl, and the plumber with the fattest crack. No Limit Eddie, what up? What's up, dude? I'm Tell doing me what's well. up. Nah, we got the Philly water crisis. I'm going right in. Exactly. Hot topic. We got to blare we right into it. We have to. I feel like it's dark in here. No, it's not dark. It don't look dark? We got a little natural light. Let the fans know it's a little preview for what we might be Dude, having Dude, now the power's going out and shit. I don't know. Philly's in turmoil. Nah, I think the TV's got like a sleep mode or something <laughs> that we didn't have before. Dude, so what's going on with Philly's? So, it just came, so this morning it just came through. Philly, you can't drink contaminated water after 2 o'clock. Now it's until further notice you cannot drink any contaminated water. So that's what's going on. And this is breaking news in the streets. Yeah, but it was after 2 o'clock and they didn't say a time that it was over. So it was always until further notice, really. But now, like, the, like, definitively, it's like, hey, there is no update. Just until further notice, do not drink the water supply. Yeah. My we, question is, we bathe with that. Like, we still shower with the water. Like, we still put it on our bodies. Like, there's no way just drinking it, like, internally is a problem. Like, there's no way we should be putting it on our bodies. That was what I thought immediately, too. Even if you don't drink tap water, you're going to be bathing with the shower water. That's what I mean. Where it's coming through the same pipes. Same pipe, same water that. supply. It's all the same thing. Same pipe that leads to your sink. We were going to shower with bottles of water. I knew somebody who used to like get in the shower, get wet, soap up entirely with the water off, and then run the water. That's weird. Why? Isn't that crazy? Just like a big soapy like aliens. Be- because they were <laughs> scared of the shower. water? or No, nah, I think just being cheap, trying to save the money. Yeah, that's so weird. Isn't that that's like that's they like should have been on that TLC show, extreme, extreme cheapskates. Yeah, that's that's a crazy one. One of them people pooped in a bucket or something and would go like dump it because they thought that the flushing for poop was too much. Dude, I just watched the hoarders episode they were talking about on Joe Rogan. Did you see that at all? Oh, Shane the Gillis? worst one ever. Dude, I watched it. It's seriously the worst thing ever. You can find it on the YouTube. The chick gotta have something wrong with her. Huh? Yeah, you can find it right on YouTube. I watched mm. it on YouTube. The annoying thing about it is though. Like the episode is like three different hoarders, and like they cut, like they like they start ten minutes with her, ten minutes with another, ten minutes with the other one, ten minutes with her, ten minutes. With, like I'm like, I just want to watch the horrible <laughs> one, but dude, the terrible one. Like I just don't know how you get to a point where you're literally walking on mounds of trash, and you're like, this is all good. I'm gonna go through this. Like, <laughs> like I just, I, I, it's one of those things. It's like, a mental it's, health it's, disorder. It's, I, it's that's why a mental health disorder. But it's I something just, that you can't rationally get over for real. You know, like when you would see, like, at, like you were a kid and you're watching Mari, mm-hmm. and they had like that weird episode where it wasn't fathers and like DNA tests, and they were like, "This chick's scared of pickles." Yeah, and we're bringing Sally on, and we're gonna show her a pickle, and she like ah, like melts down. Yeah, it, it's like it's not believable. Like it's like oh, maybe it's just for a TV show, but there are really people out there living like this that are living amongst trash. This chick was shitting in the buckets and keeping them. And then she would dump the buckle on her front lawn for like 30 years. Mm-hmm. So like the, the, the house had to actually be like condemned after. Like it was so toxic that the house actually had to be shut, like knocked out. Can you hit me with a chest piece with a, with a bottle of work? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> it's going to be like a placebo thing where like now we're all going to start thinking we're like real thirsty. And everyone's yeah. going to drink all this water up. So I really am thinking I'm super thirsty right now. No, something's wrong. I, I went to Acme. I went to the front lines like recently, <laughs> like an hour ago. I was I was at the Hold front on, lines of this whole before thing. Before you go into that, just break down real quick because we did go off on a hoarder's tangent. Give a straight up Webster's Dictionary definition of what we're talking about right now. All right, so Webster's Dictionary, no limit. Of the Philadelphia water Fake crisis news. 2023. Fake news. Philly water crisis of 2023 is, definition. for some reason, we got uh, a spill in Bucks County. What is it? Just some kind of chemical spill in Bucks County that went into the water. And it's going to be in the water supply. It's going to go to the, I guess, whatever water they dump in is leading to the right. supply Which that Bucks we drink County, for me, much closer to home, I'm thinking, has this shit been in my water for the last few days? Even though I'm not a tap water I mean, I feel like if general. it was a problem and it was, they wouldn't just outright say that, right? Yeah. They you wouldn't. know what I mean? They, they would wouldn't. Na- if it was fucking us up for the last five days, they wouldn't come out and be like, actually, if you lived here, here, or here, you've been getting fucked up for five days. Right. They so wouldn't. as of right now, we don't really know a lot. Like, we don't know if it's going to get to a point where you can go get a lighter and go to your faucet and light it on fire. You know how people like post videos like yeah. that? I mean, who knows? I mean, it's chemicals in the water supply, but that's now leaking. They sent out like, you saw it all over social media first, but then they sent Amber Alerts. Right. Which I can't stand, by the way. Right. We'll get into that. You yeah. shutting off Amber Alerts. Um, 
all right, at, at, at two o'clock, you can't drink the water supply. You can't drink it. Don't drink the tap at water. At 2 p.m., Don't, which is so random. Like, do how do you just water. pick a time in the day? The only thing I'm right thinking here is... Right here is where the, the drop of water at 159.59 is coming out clean as a whistle. But at 2 o'clock, watch yourself. No, nah, I'm sure there's, like, a time frame thing. Like, it's probably not even bad until 3 or 4, exactly. but just to get everybody That's to stop. That's true. But... They probably were talking to whoever's at this Bucks County facility factory. Like, all right, as the city leaders, like, realistically, when do we have to tell stop people, uh, telling people to stop drinking the water? And they're probably like, tell them two o'clock, you know, because that's when it's gonna funnel to whatever yeah. bank this is. Um, so right now we don't know if it's gonna get resolved. They just sent out another Amber Alert saying that you know indefinitely do not drink this water. So now you have everybody going around and rushing out for water like it's a pandemic, again. Yeah. Or like a big snowstorm's coming. And you hit the front lines. And I hit the front lines. I went right to Acme. So. <laughs> and you saw chaos. Right hysteria. The, the garden Target. <laughs> nah, uh, so I went to Acme and immediately once you walk up, they're like, there's no cases of water. There's no water. Pl- there's plenty of water in the building. You can't buy a case of like Deer Park, but you can buy, you know. A few bottles here You can here get like there. big Fiji waters and stuff like that. You can still get Any water. Any gallons left? See, nah, I would go straight for no the gallons. gallons. I'm no a gallons. gallon guy. I like to drink out of the gallon of water. No, there's no gallons. It's all like small bottles of water and big bottles of water. As soon as I walked in, too, there was a acne worker with a car with all these like loose water bottles in it. I guess that people were like ripped apart. Like I don't know if people were like fighting for water, but there was all these disheveled. It's gold right here. Cases of, that's literally gold. Remember when hand sanitizer was a big thing during the coronavirus? Yeah. That's what water is now, but water is more you know crucial to life. So this acne worker, I don't know. If she I'm was, sure people are buying stuff like that too. I don't know. I'm sure they are. I don't know if this acne worker was bringing something that was already out of the, like in the back because it was damaged cases. <laughs> yeah. But she had a full cart of water. I was like, I can tackle her right now. <laughs> and <laughs> no. just take Imagine it Imagine I really just <laughs> buried her for it. Uh, but I think they were like, they were selling those loose water bottles at the front when I left. A couple more days, it's going to get to that point. So I went to the water aisle and I wasn't like, I wasn't expecting much. I walked up and I was like, hey, look at all you guys fumbling for water, you fools. And there really wasn't much. There was like a bunch of sparkling water, seltzer waters. I wound up grabbing like these three big ass Voss waters that are like glass bottles. Yeah. And then I, I found the Fiji water. And I was like, let me ditch these. But you didn't end up with Fiji. You ended up with smart water. Or smart water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Fiji oh. first, but the smart water, after doing some math, we found out that that was like the better deal. Yeah. So now, like, I've never thought about, like, buying water. I just always just go to the store, pick up two cases of water. And now I'm like, all right, if I spend $12, I can get 80 fluid ounces. If I spend nine ninety nine on the street, I, I'm, like, thinking about water rations. Which is water cr- ounces. Crazy. Yeah. Like, all right, how much water should I get? Now, I got plenty of water at my house. Don't come knocking on my door, please. But, I mean, I'm not worried about it. I was just getting, like, some reserves. Now, you said what happens if at 8 o'clock they hit us up with another alert. Like, oh, it's all good drink the water I'm again. Thinking, I'm thinking the opposite. I'm going to say, think the opposite. What if it's like a week from now and we still cannot drink water and there's no water to be bought? Yeah, because going back to what you said about the statement that they sent you until further notice, when did you hear that before? Yeah. The last time we heard something until further notice, and you got to stay in for two weeks to flatten the curve and then we were inside for like a year and a half. Imagine that happens with the water supply. At 8 o'clock tonight, they're like, actually, for the next week, lay off the water. Dude, that would be horrible. Now, this would be a perfect time. Listen, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. You know that? They talk about bad things coming from that. I think we could apply that phrase to something we talked about a few weeks ago. If you had really gone in to drinking soda only and smoking cigarettes, you'd have no problems right now. Because you'd be health. two weeks into the soda and you'd be like, fuck a bottle of water anyway. You'd my be stomach on the acids soda. would have literally destroyed all the lining of my body. My esophagus would have been completely eroded. Imagine, cigarettes and just, just Coca-Cola all Imagine day. the sizzle of your piss hitting the toilet. Your piss would be... Brown like rocket you, like fuel. You a, yo, they did. I, I got like a scan done. Remember, I told you hypochondriac. Elon Musk that. would be calling you up, like, "Yo, we need your piss to fuel this next rocket, bro." <laughs> I know you've been drinking only soda and smoking cigarettes the last month. Come on, fly out to Texas. I got. I walk in just two hundred thousand mouth and like one of those like jet suits. Like I'm about to fly a fighter jet. And <laughs> no, I just one, of, them, one fucking... of them camel back backpacks, but soda in it. <laughs> Ripping Marvel Reds. <laughs> and like, you look like, you almost look like a rocket. Like you got two two liters strapped to your back. I got enough to get us to Mars, to Elon. We're fine. <laughs> I got enough. I got plenty. 
We're gonna see get now there in if no we time. had a dude if we Diesel. were if we were this high budget that we had a dude that could make a cartoon of that that would be fire. That'd be a fire. You cartoon. walking into the rocket facility with two two liters strapped to your ass cheeks and a camel back to your mouth with a camel. Now cigarette that you say I have two in your mouth. Now that I have two liters of like coke on my ass cheeks, I'm picturing me in that Borat suit <laughs> or in the, the bathing suit where it's just like the string that covers his dick and shit and goes up. So I'd be wearing fat that. from the soda. I'd be wearing that with the with the cap like you get at the. <laughs> At the stadiums, I have the two beers, but I have two cans. The water boy, two job. cans of Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi guy, so I would have two cans of Pepsi on that. That'd be going in, and then I have two funnel. I look like Bane, but with Pepsi <laughs> and butt naked. We got to get someone to draw. I might draw it tonight. I might spend my night doing that. <laughs> we're supposed to be talking about the Philly water crisis. I feel like the tangents this are so the much Philly better water though. Crisis. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Me fucking strapped naked with Pepsi. Uh, yeah, like why don't people just start drinking a ton of soda? That's what I'm saying. There's other like drinks You're hailing and you're crushing people for a case of Poland Spring. Just grab the two liter. <laughs> Remember I said like when I walked in, they were like, there's no cases of water. <laughs> I'm walking out like maybe like 25 minutes later, 20 minutes later, like, no, in damn well, there's no water. Some dude's running in, like, say, trying to get water for the family. He's like, <laughs> with a cart. <laughs> hustling through the, the aisle. Cart wheels dude, it was like Mad Max. It was like Mad Max out there. People were really going hype. Or getting hype. What acne are you at? Uh, front and Mifflin. Oh my god, that's hot, bro. Why? That's just. I feel like that is the spot that I would think people are in there fucking freaking out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all. It's just like a tight neighborhood. Everyone's just talking on the streets. I gotta walk down there right now and get. Yeah, yeah. People got cases of water on their shoulder, running out the door. Oh, down at Target, they're out of water. I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> See some bum on the street. I'm fucking thirsty. Yeah, but. Dude, what if it really goes long? I bet you if I had like eight cases of water, I can sell them for 10 bucks a piece. You could. With you could make profit right, right on the street, right on the corner. Especially if it goes longer. Like If it goes longer, you can sell couple, water for way in more. In a couple of hours, if they hit us up, like actually hold off on that water. If there is... We're in trouble. If there's a, at least a week of no tap water and water you can't find in stores, you can sell a case of water for probably hundreds, hundreds of dollars. Hundreds Soon. though, hundreds because rich no. people will just pay for it. They're like, fuck it, I need water. I don't give a fuck. Give, yeah, six hundred dollars to take it. I want water. I don't care. They would, that's true. Actually, Easy. they wouldn't you even could. think about it. They'd be like, fuck it, I'll just take the loss. I actually luckily got a couple 40 packs yesterday, so I'm not that worried about it at all. I just, you know, <laughs> mm, this water is so good. I love this bottled water. I got water by the fucking gallon, but I'll piss it out if I want. You know what I mean? Fucks it to me. But you said that guy at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. was running in, cart Bro, empty, no in. water anywhere. Imagine the person that's like, oh, I'll wait till 6. He was doing that run where, like, the Superman S was, like, poking out of, like, the button-up shirt. The person that waits till 6, they really are going to just have to grab the soda. Like, that's yeah. what they're going to have to do. Look, I got peach vitamin water, and I got fucking brisk. That's all they had. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Drink it. <laughs> now, finish. What about the lady running into the back with the extra stock? No, yeah, dude. I'm telling you, acne workers are hoarding it. I think that's what she was doing. I don't think, I don't know. I said that they might have been selling it, but I think she was taking them for the people. I mean, if you think about it, it kind of is right because they're not allowed to go shopping while they're at work. They need water just as bad as the next person. I would start choosing up Why too. is it my fault that they had to work their shift today and I was off at my work? See, when you get into these apocalypse arguments, it's tough. Where do the rules of, you know, human Nah, I think I would stand on go? the side... Even through an apocalypse that we have to spread the wealth. I would want the acne workers, like you said, to get the water. I wouldn't want to take... Because they're working, too. So, like, they're going to be... They're going to be thirsty. Yeah. So, like, at the end of their shift, they're probably been chewing gum all day. Their mouth's all dry. They're going to want some water. So, I would definitely let them have it. I don't have actual gripe with acne. I actually like acne. That's so why I went there. It's always cool. How long do you think until the supermarkets themselves just start upping the price on the water? I mean, immediately, I, I would, I would, like, when I went to Acme just now, there was no water to be bought, except if you bought, like, bottles of water like this. So, I, I got to imagine pretty quickly it's going to be jacked off. Were the refrigerators in the front empty, like, up by the register? No, but that'll be, like, the, that, that'll be like the, the last of the front lines to go. Dude, another thing that comes to mind with the until further notice idea, what did they tell the people in fucking Flint, Michigan? It started off just like that. Yeah. It was like, just don't drink the water right now. We're addressing a little problem. There was a spill. Should be nothing to worry about. Months later, dudes are lighting their tap water on fire. I think that this would be radically different only because Philadelphia is just such a big city. 
Like if if the city of Philadelphia just had no water, it would be a way bigger deal than Flint, it is. Michigan. Unfortunately, I'm just it saying is. like that's just what. It and is. that's another thing to delve into about it. Where did this contamination come from? Number one. Number yeah, two, Bucks County, right? Number like we're, two, like we're at in Bucks County. Yeah, it comes from Bucks County, but I'm saying, what happened? The Ots factory or something. <laughs> what exactly happened? What spilled into this water? Who did it? Was it an accident at the chemical plant? Like, what, what, what happened here? We don't know anything about that. And if you were perhaps another country that wanted to go to war with America, and you wanted to start off with something crazy like contaminating a city's water supply, Philadelphia could be a good choice. You think that's what's happening? I don't think that's what's happening, but in no limit fashion, you can't put it out of the realm of possibility. I was possibility. thinking more along the lines that they're just trying to distract us from the Galactic Federation that's coming towards Earth. That's what. That's what all. That's why all this stuff is happening. They're trying to distract all the local neighborhoods and all the all the like all the people in the ground about what's happening in the skies. They want us to be, They want you to be worried about your water supply. That's the that's the craziest thing they can take away from you is your water, right? You're not gonna think about nothing else if you can't even go to the store and get water. All of a sudden. <laughs> So you think if water supply was low for a week straight, it would be anarchy. And and the Galactic Federation actually showed up, clear as day to see. Nobody would give a fuck because they'd be like, "I'm thirsty." No, I don't know. That's a good question. I think either way, the Galactic Federation's coming, whether our water's here or not. What but do I you just think, think there's a lot of strange activity going on in the world. What do you think the overlord of that looks like? The overlord of that? Of the Galactic Federation. Like a guy who's just politicked so hard that not... We're, fuck the senator of Illinois or or whatever out there, the mayor of Philadelphia. A guy who's politicked so hard his whole life that he's made it to the top of the Galactic Federation. He's got to be an alien, dude. You like do you, So they talk about like aliens that, that look like us. They look just like us, but they're aliens and not from Earth. Right. I, I don't believe in that. I believe in like... Like I'm talking about, like Zorg is coming towards here. Like exactly, I'm thinking Zorg of like Louis. you know that the thing from SpongeBob. What? What's, the, what's that villain's name? The that dude, one villain in SpongeBob. The Bob. one villain who the who Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy fight. He. Oh, the you red can't and blue tickle dude. him. If you tickle him, he hates what's his it. name. Damn, I, what's Man his name? Ray. Yeah. Man Ray. I feel yeah. like the leader of the Galactic Federation would look like Man Ray. Like a superhero? Like, literally, like, he would look like a... Like sort a of, but he would be, like, alien also at the same time. I think of, like, right now, like, not her, but you know when Monsters Inc. that I'm angry now. Like, that chick, I'm thinking like a slug. <laughs> I'm thinking like a slug is coming. That's a different option, but I think it could be. Like, like just a like, fucking bitchiest lady ever. Like, she's made I it to the top of the galactic I just want to see what you guys have over here. Get out. Nah. It's definitely like Man Ray. Could it's be. probably just a gray. It's probably just a gray alien. I think that would be the scariest. I think if we got something that was like a slug, I don't think we'd be that shocked. I think if we actually saw like the aliens depicted in like all of our pop culture over the years, that would be like really like, what the fuck? Tie it all together. I mean? Intergalactic Foundation leader pulls up and he says, what the fuck? You couldn't even control the water. And just drops like a million cases of water. Like here, you fucking idiots. Well, they say that the aliens are based in the water. That's where they go. Like their, their their spacecrafts go in and out of the water. So if we're contaminating the water, maybe that's the next piece in the war against them. Mm. Contaminate the water supply. Maybe people on the front lines of the Bucks County waterfront are like, we should fucking dump all this trash toxins in there to kill these aliens. And the reason that I brought up the war aspect of it, like another country possibly contaminating the water, is because it all ties in with the stuff we talked about a couple weeks ago. All the stuff that happened in America with the train derailments and other so like water Ohio. sources in the Ohio thing was pretty much similar. We're, we're, yeah. we're talking about the Flint thing. The Ohio thing was pretty much similar, contaminated water. I'm sure they heard similar things to what we're hearing now about, oh, just take it easy at 2 p.m. until further notice, maybe a day or two, and then it just got worse and worse. And I saw a, sol a former soldier today talking about, if you think the world war is coming, it's already happening. Like, you think it's going to be this and that, but it's really just these these smaller things like, these attacks that are happening on American soil. And he could be right. He is a soldier. You think it'd be a good movie? 
like you know, like Captain Phillips, you know, uh, Deepwater Horizon, like SEAL Team Six, like all those movies. Mm. The next one should be the people at Bucks County, like they know that there's aliens in that fucking lake, or in that like in that river, and they're like, we have to fucking poison it, and they it's like it's like them versus the aliens, like poisoning the water water supply. Star Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> what would be called? Star Mark Wahlberg. It definitely, definitely would Wahlberg. star him. Have to definitely. I thought you wanted to call it. Something uh, No limit <laughs> No limit the musical <laughs> Not even a musical I hate musicals No limit the musical Yeah We should film one We should do a musical I wonder what's gonna happen To the supply of holy water For the church That reminds me of the Vatican orgy That I read about Well <laughs> Wow Oh well you don't say. That reminds you of nah, that, huh? I was scrolling Instagram and like some gnarly ass painting came up, but it's none getting torqued by a devil. But it was, it's like from 1880. It's a really good painting. No, you showed me it. What's it called? The Sin? The Sin? The Sin. By who? <sighs> Jacques de Bleu. Nah, it's probably some kind of French name or something. But yeah, this like, this nun is just, you know, just getting the biz <laughs> from this demon. And she's like, ah, like her eyes are rolling back. And then like I looked into it, it's based on. An orgy that allegedly happened at the Vatican in 1500. I forget under what pope. I forget under what pope. So you looked, this in, shit, a, this really, this you looked shit, in a little research on it and it yeah, came like, up. This shit like literally happened in the Sistine Chapel, which like I think is crazy. I was, I was on TikTok recently, you know, confirmed TikTok user. It's, and I saw a video of somebody in the Sistine Chapel and they were like filming it. Dude, it, it's, it might be the craziest like mad made structure on earth like it, it's just it's unbelievable to see that yeah, and it's hand painted but, but the sin is not in the Sistine Chapel right that painting no the, the painting was from like 1800 something the orgy was in 1500 okay I think Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel in like 1503 or something and dude you you told me to look it up I looked up the painting she's getting it she's getting it dude I Just thought it up. was going to be, when you said it, I immediately thought there was going to be, like, a look of, like, oh, Jesus, like, like some type of, like, uh, remorse. It looks like a Wildwood, doing. like a Keenan's bathroom at 3 a.m. It's like, Wildwood. she's right up in it, mm-hmm. in the middle of it. I think in it's the, through a in gate. In the middle of enjoyment. Yeah, I think it's through a gate. Like, he's standing on one side of the Who gate. Who is it by? Oh, uh, do we have the name? Heinrich Lasso, shout out him. Heinrich Lasso, it's a great painting, great great body of work. It's really but, wait, and it reason, was done in what year? Eighteen eighty-two. The, the facial expression, and it'll be popped up right here the whole time we talk about it, or at least a portion of it, so you'll be able to look at it. But check it out a little further. <laughs> the facial expression of the nun looks so modern. Like, it looks like a meme. Like, it looks like something you, you would she, see today. What do you think she would look like in 1880? I don't know. There's just something about it that looks like a meme that somebody would make today. Like, oh, look at this nun getting fucked. Dude, nuns were getting fucked back then. But it was 1800s when Everybody they painted it. Everybody was getting it. fucked back then. It wasn't that long ago. It was 140 years ago. You think fucking's changed that much? No, it hasn't. When do you think fucking was radically different? Like, what do you think the last time, like, fucking was different? Well, in the 1840s and 50s, people weren't showering. Definitely not every day. Yeah. And some people, most people, probably not even every week. They didn't shower in contaminated water, though. So, I don't know what was going on. That is true. When they when they hit the water, it was clean. It's a crystal clear Facts. fucking lake. Yeah. Ice cold, part too. Get the heart rate right. Yeah. While they're eating, like, naturally growing mushrooms. That are out there confusing the heart. What were you just talking about? We were talking about the sin, the painting yeah. by Harold Lusso. Yeah, you were saying like I uh, know. I was asking you. Uh, <laughs> I was asking you when you think the last time fucking was different. You were saying that people didn't bathe. But like I'm In saying, the 1840s like they did like fifties, huh? In the 1840s and 50s. I would say the fucking we know today has probably been the, at least it's probably been the same old shit probably since at least like 1950. 1950. Yeah. Dude, they were having orgies in the Vatican in 1500. People have been going berserk for decades. For, for, for no, centuries, I mean. Yeah, but they were decades. freaking. They were That's freaking. That's So people have always been freaking. I'm saying, like, when do you if, think if it was just very that, primal? They had the old link up. Well, first of all, they're in the Vatican. They're a prominent figure, so they got access to, like, whatever bath and whatever cleaning services are, are out there. 
They had to all get together, decide we're going to clean our asses up today, meet up in the Vatican, hole 16, room three, and we're going to get after it. <laughs> now, today, no, everybody's I'm ready. That, today, no, no. they want to do that in the Vatican today. Pope fucking whatever his name is could come out of his room and be like, line them up. Everyone's ready. No planning necessary. <laughs> You're not getting what I'm saying. You're, I'm saying like... What's when's the first time an ape was like it wasn't primal no more and ape was just like twerk on my dick instead like I want to see some crazy shit like change it up it's not like just some ugh, like primal like just just for like surviving reasons and keeping like their like bloodline going I'm talking like when was the first time people were like damn reproduction wasn't on their mind it was just damn that shit fat dance on me. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, God. dude. I really don't. I really don't. It has was to the, be an ape. Was the homo Neanderthalus? Was he in lust? Yeah, ever? who was the freak that just blew it all open? I really don't know. I'd love dude. to know. Nah, dude. People have been getting people have been getting an after it like you and me for since forever. Like the fifteen hundreds, like BC times, like Jesus' times, like they were definitely having sex. And like orgies of the Vatican. Yeah. So you think it was all the same, they just smelled worse. Yeah, it definitely smelled worse. Dude, Their but the Vatican one, I'm still holding strong to that. Like, they all got together and they made a plan to do it. Nowadays, if they wanted to do that, it could happen instantly. On well, site. yeah, back then, I guess it was probably... Well, what happened was the guy... I, f- I forget the names of who it was like there exactly, so now I don't sound credible, but it's whatever. You can look it up. It's the... It's the um, oh. The, the banquet of chestnuts because they were like walking. They had like they had all, they had like fifty strippers, but this, this dude hired like fifty escorts basically to come and like dance at this party. Mm-hmm. They were dancing with clothes on. Eventually, they got naked and was like, "Ah, oh, let's get crazy." Then they had the the women on all fours and they were picking up chestnuts with their mouth. Like they're doing like crazy like power trip and shit, you know. And then eventually, I guess the dudes chestnuts were like, the dudes roasting were like, you know, on an open women, but like, escorts, like, <laughs> like <laughs> they could just get after it. Because back then, it was probably like that. Like, you were like, oh, you know, fucking Pope Charles II. That's who it was. It was Pope Charles II. Pope Charles II is having this party tonight. Let's all go. And Pope Charles II has 50 escorts there when you get there. You're not like, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to partake. Like, you just show up and get into the mix. Because it, it's, it's 1,500. You How know? are you going to say no to Pope Charles II? Right. You're in the fucking Sistine Chapel. You know what he's done for Rome. Right. Now, the reason why I find it so interesting is that, like, if that's, like, a, a like a, almost a known history event, and the reason why they know about it, apparently a lot of people dispute it. Like, and it's always, like, bullshit. It's, like, disputed by a lot of contemporaries. Like, what does that mean to me? Like, it's in this guy's diary. Why would he just write about it? Like, this guy wrote about Some it in his diary. Some shit's too real, too intricate that they, you know the guy didn't make it up. Nobody made it up on all fours putting chestnuts in their mouth. Nobody made that up. That happened. That definitely happened. But my whole thing I took from it was what crazy shit really happens at the Vatican and these places around the world. Like Jeffrey Epstein's Island. I know it's like a joke. We always talk about this fucking dude, but his place existed like th- like those creepy like temples like in the world that they just exist it was out there. there. For, can't say it wasn't there for freaky shit, dude. You know, like you can't say it wasn't there. Like it happens like this orgy of the Vatican happened. Like, what is really going on out here? And then you have people who are like, nah, it's all fake news. You're listening to that bullshit. But, like, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, you really don't. I just think it's stupid for people to be like, oh, yeah, I read the paper. I know exactly what's going on. Like, do you? Do you really? Yeah. Are you in every door? Are you behind every closed door? You don't know nothing. There's some crazy shit going on in this world. And the real stupidity is in the belief that you do. Right. That's know what I'm saying. You, I, you have to be really stupid and, to, to think that you know it all. That's why, like, I really am not smart, but I will tell you straight up to your face that I'm not smart. I don't think I'm a smart guy. You know? I think it's stupid to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a genius. And I'm when it smart. comes to, like, what happened and what didn't, when a person just gives their own personal account and, like you said, those details, I tend to believe it because they got no reason to make it up. Right. Yeah. I, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, and when you make something up, there's just a different essence. To like, you can just tell when somebody made something up. The details just aren't right. It's not specific enough. Yeah. But something like that, all fours eating chestnuts. But why would the guy write about in his diary? He, he wouldn't lie. You know what I mean? It's a personal diary. that we. That's You think that's messed up? 
I was on Barnes and Nobles and I just like drifted off to like the rock book section. You know, like they always have like a rock book section where like it's like Keith Richards book and shit. They had like Kurt Cobain's diary. I'm sure the they got rock books like uh whatever like uh whatever that science of rocks is too. Yeah. Ge- uh, geology. Yeah. Um Yeah, they had Kurt Cobain's diary and they like took his diary and published it. Like pictures and all. Like, do you think it's like weird? Oh, it was stuff like, that he wrote? After you die, like, do you think it's, like, fair game to... How much of the book life? did you look through? Because what I would wonder is, if they really put stuff from his real diary, I feel like they definitely withheld some stuff. I mean, I was with my girlfriend, and she, like, actually shops for books, and I just kind of, like... I look around, like, I think... Like, I make it look like I'm shopping for books, but I'm really just wasting time in there. So, I, like, picked up the book for a while, and I sat with it for probably, like, ten minutes. Like just flipping through pages, so I saw a decent amount of it. You shot for books? You can act yeah, like she's, she's not right there. She's a little bookworm, huh? You can act like she's not right there. Well, I was, oh, I was just saying. Nah, get over here and tell us no, about Tori how you shot there. for books. Tori, who sits over there behind the camera, was in there shopping for books one day as I was uh, perusing Kurt Cobain's diary. But like, it's just like weird. Like it's like all like it's literally personal shit. Like we're gonna go meet Dale tonight like, at the fucking thing to watch the Melvins. Like it's literally yeah. his diary. Yeah, I bet they didn't and know. And Frank, we published her diary. I bet the audience didn't know that No Limit Podcast was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Come on. Come on. Episode Come on 91. Live this is a heavy audience. production here. 91 episodes deep, live studio audience is necessary. 91 episodes deep. And the window's back. Imagine there's no water at episode 92. Yeah, by the time 92 comes around, there could be no water. I'm also flying to Texas, so I'm going to be oh, in good shape. Oh, no, dude. Hopefully, hopefully we get that, that guy for 92. The Zoom guy, mm. and I'll make sure we're both sipping water on that podcast. But by '93, the water could be null and void. Well, are you gonna film that this week? I'm gonna try to film Probably that this Tuesday. Week? Yeah, yeah. Stay on the lookout for that. Um, that guy. Stay on as far as the guy. diary thing goes, like I said, I think they definitely withheld stuff. Do you have a diary? And even though it's personal, if it was whatever, if it was bullshit, like yeah, me and Chet met up today to go to the grocery store. And I felt great about it. It was a great time. Two friends enjoying a laugh. Who cares? Do you have a diary? No. I never had one. I don't think I even had one when I was a kid. Yeah, I never had one. I had sisters who always had, like, they always had some crazy thing from, like, Target that had, like, a fake toy key and lockbox. Like, dude, dude girls what are, always what are you have a diary. In there? Girls always have a diary. Every girl's got one. You got a diary? And it seems cool at first. She like, does. Like, the first day you get it. The first day you get it, like, maybe you write down stuff. It's like, different, I swear. But after a couple of weeks go by, you're just scribbling in there and leaving it unlocked like by diary, accident. you're just so primed to, like, I don't know, just pour nothing but sadness into it. I feel like every, I feel like every entry's sad. What, bro? You go in your diary and be like, everything's just so great. Great? The song, Today Was a Good Day, to me, sounds like a diary entry that's about something good. Does he write down the, ooh? He just keeps going Like his fingers just don't stop And the ooh ah just come out <laughs> He was on an Adderall ooh-ah. writing it Yeah I feel like my diary If I had a diary The entries would be uh, Probably obscene I wouldn't want anybody to see anything That I would just write down Like in my personal time Knowing that nobody was gonna see it Like I want nobody reading that After I'm dead I can't defend anything that's in there You know Diaries are probably good for people These days low key Because it's like You gotta sit down for like 10 minutes Really think about something Write it down. It takes a while to express what you're trying to say. It's really good for you. So you stay locked into that same vibe for like 10, <laughs> 15 minutes at least. Whereas like everything else that we consume today is like quick, 30 seconds, it's over with, on to the next thing. And then you end up at the end of the day hearing just random sounds that you heard throughout the day in your fucking head while you're trying to go to sleep. <laughs> One day when I was a kid, I was like real pissed off and I opened a copy book up and just wrote, fuck you. <laughs> See, that's what happens with diaries. That's what I was getting at. That's what happens. It starts off, you're writing like, today I went to the park. It it was great. I felt good. I saw a couple of butterflies. And by the fucking 14th day, you're just opening it up and writing, fuck you, as big as you can. Funny as shit, too, because I was like a kid. Like, what was I, what was I, so much pent up anger. That I opened a copy book up it. I had so many books. I had so many books filled with raps, bro. Oh, even, yeah. even people who never went on to make songs or anything, I feel like a lot of people write raps. They I never just did. sit there and write raps. I was I can I used to write poems. 
it's rap. In like fourth grade, it's pretty much because like we had this project in like fourth grade that we had to like come up with like poems, like haikus. Yeah, and I got obsessive with it, and like I would go home at the school. I'm like, you oh. thought you were fucking young Cobain? That's Bro, why. I was going nuts. I, I, my, my hand was on fire. I was so, like, we'd be in fucking math class. Like they'd be teaching math now, and I'd still be on the haiku duty. Like I could not stop writing. You were like seven dude. syllables in the middle, five in the third. I was so, <laughs> I was so nice with it. I should get back into it. Now they'd probably be all sad. Any haiku. Any haiku. That'd be my Instagram page. Why would they be all sad? I don't know. Dude, look, really how, look how sunny it is. It's actually beautiful be out. Like, I actually can't wait to be outside and sun my balls. This would be a great window to sun your balls at. Just get the whole thing opened up with a beach chair. Bro, what AirPod was Pros. What was the last topic again? Uh, oh, the best deal you ever had. Oh my god, this is such a good one. So you have the best. I want to hear it because this this is apparently the infamous <laughs> deal that keeps on getting better. The audience has has waited for this one. No limit topic. Very no limit. The best deal you ever got. <laughs> and really, you're probably gonna come up with a deal you got recently because. Honestly, the story I'm about to tell, it is an amazing deal. It is the deal that kept on giving. I didn't know when it was going to stop. I thought it might never end. But maybe in the years past, maybe I did get a better deal. Maybe I finessed something better than this in years past. So it is the best deal I ever got, but let's put a little asterisk on there. The best deal that I got in the last year. Okay. So it might not be the best deal you ever got. It's the it's the best it's dude because you it's know, the best deal in recent memory. You know, can we I'll change fucking, the title? You know, I'll fucking get a deal. I know you'll get a deal. I'll I respect the deal. shit out of people who will get a deal. I'll get a deal. You know, like I I am the first dude to be like, what? It's seven hundred dollars. Yeah, slap it on. Yeah, who cares? You know? I I just I'm not a deal seeker. Oh, these waters are eight for eighteen. See, you went in, got them bottles of water out of store. I would have went into the back and been like, "Listen, break it down right here. Give me a couple of these cases, backdoor them. Money goes in your pocket." Yeah, I would have went and got that deal. No, I definitely respect the hustle of finding deals. So the deal deal that I got recently comes from where was it? National Harbor, Maryland, Polo Factory Outlet Store. Oh, man, you were fucking oh, yeah. in on them. Oh, yes. You took them for everything they got. I go in. And now, you know, the outlets, they're always going to offer you deals no matter what. They're offering you percent off, blah, blah, mm-hmm. all this, right? Yeah, I want to move it. So I started looking at a couple of the things. Actually, this shirt was a purchase there. It wasn't part of the deal, actually. But it's funny, I'm telling the story in this shirt, which I bought from there. It's a nice shirt. Let's Pretty good nice quality. Product. What I would say is like, Let's be honest. I know some of you out there listening, you've bought Polo or you've bought in some other, you know, semi-designer brand from Marshalls before. Let's be honest. You have Calvin Klein, Polo. Uh, what's the Gator one? I never La- have. La- La- uh, what is it? Lacoste. La- La- I've never bought anything like I don't shop at those stores. It's there. It's at Marshalls. It's at mm. TJ Maxx. You know, people, people are out there copping this shit. For what sure. I will say about this one shirt that came from the Polo store and not there. There's something more about it. Like, it feels like a little box here. It feels like it's going to last me longer. It feels like when I do wash it, this is the third wear without a wash, by the way. We need to, we need to get into that. When you get a new shirt, you got to wear it a few times before you wash it because after that, the cotton's going to shrink, all that good stuff, but that's for another day. Um, Yeah, this shirt. Got it with the deal that I got. It's on the shirt. They're offering 15% off. It's the outlet store. 15% off your order when you get to the front. Um, all you gotta do is sign up for their app or whatever. I think I actually still had the the coupon on my phone. They somehow fucked up and left it on there and gave me the extra fifteen percent off. So I'm looking at a couple of the things. Now I find this rack that's like assorted shirts. It's not like plain t shirts like this. It's like some different stuff. Like there's some sweaters, some crew necks, like just random long sleeve shirts. Like this is one of the racks in the mm-hmm. in this store, and they're all discounted themselves. Like, uh. Well, everything's discounted. Mo- yeah, right? exactly. At the at the at the outlet stores, Maryland? they're all going to be discounted. Yeah, it was in Maryland. So, like, you're town? looking at some of the stuff. No, it's it's on the river. So, I start I to I tell though. I start to tell though that they put the prices high as shit, and they are giving you a good deal on the items. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like the craziest deal in the world when you look at like. What they're pricing it at in the be beginning like, um, to act like it's a, a sale. $100 shirt on sale for 80 No, it'll be like, like no, dead ass, it'll be like this like a crew neck sweater 
it'll say like two hundred and twenty five dollars on the original tag, and then it'll say like ninety bucks or something on the thing. When in reality, it was probably like maybe like a hundred and thirty forty dollar item, you and, really you, and you're giving it away. If you're paying two twenty for some of the shit they got on sale for two twenty in there, you're getting finessed. You're getting yeah. the opposite of a deal. I always got the wrong. So spot. I'm going through, and I find this shirt. That I look at the price, and the original price is like $225. And then I see the red tag that's the real price, and I have to take a double take. I'm like, $30? It says $29.99. Hey, everybody. And I was like, 30 And I take it off, and I put it on over a hoodie, and I had a lot of clothes on, so it kind of fit real good. And I'm like, whoa, I'm definitely buying this. Because, like I said, even... Two twenty five is not the real price, even if it was really like one fifty. Getting it for thirty is like that's already a fire deal. That's better deal than most people have gotten all year. It's a two XL. And here's where the deal keeps on giving. I find out that I can take it to the front of the register, pay for it at the price that it is. Actually, not even that, because they're giving me another 15% off at a $30, so it's really only going to be like 25 or something yeah. like that. Pay for it at the price that it is. Leave that item at the store and order the right size shipped to my house, but at the price of the item in the store. Yeah. Dude, you know how common that is? <laughs> That's I like understand. The most common fuck you I understand that. Sale. Nah, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be like that at the outlet store. What do you you're mean? already giving. You're already giving me an item that's supposedly two hundred and twenty five dollars for like twenty five dollars, and you're also now gonna let me say, well, don't give me this one, which has somehow ended up in this outlet store for a reason. They might have had the two X and been like, uh, just put it in the outlet store. It won't sell in the regular store. It's two X, mm -hmm. and now. Because I found the 2X one and it has this crazy low price on it, I can just get the regular large one that actually might have been selling at the 225. Maybe people were buying it in why, the you think stores. Just a, why, what, you think just the 2X it was on sale for that price? Yeah, I feel like why? that happens all the time. It's the same thing like we were talking about them stores, Marshalls and shit. That's why you can go in there and find size 14 shoes of like the newest Jordan out. Because that shit just ends up in those places somehow, sometimes. Like mm -hmm. super big stuff of popular items or super big stuff of like actually good stuff. I don't know. Is that right? But I yeah, I, I, I I guess that is kind of a thing that I was kind of mind blown by. That is so common. Like so you walk but in just the, the idea like, oh, that these I shoes could... these shoes are so nice, they're eighty bucks. Fuck you guys don't have the twelve, like I'll order it for you, but like, I bet. And it gets shipped right to your house? Eighty bucks. Thank you. It's like it's just like common. You got to compete with Amazon and shit nowadays. It's just got to be able to come. Yeah, to your but house. I wouldn't expect that from an outlet store. I would only expect that from like. I guess they're still going on like Polo's website though. I'm being like, yeah, yeah. Just order it. So to me, that felt like definitely the best deal it's that the I got the entire got year. It memory. was like how many percent off is that when you think about it? If you were to say it was two twenty five the item, and I ended up getting it for like twenty five and shipped to my house for free, like the percent off is what. What is twenty five dollars into two hundred? It goes into eight times, goes into two twenty five nine times. So it's like a little over ten percent. I I got like ninety percent off almost. Yeah, it's insane. And shipped to my house for free. Yeah, it's a great deal. Is it, uh, it's actually a crime that you don't have the shirt on right now for us to see. It. Well, I got the one that it came with it. Huh? This is the I bought this at like whatever the full price was, like was. This what are you talking about? I'm talking yeah. about the shirt that you got the great deal on. Yeah, it's home. Well, yeah, it's crazy you didn't wear it. Maybe I should. Can we get a picture on it, like the podcast page, like of the yeah. shirt? Is it's it a nice, collar shirt? It's like, yeah, it's like it's got a small, it's got a small collar. It it's like a button up blue <laughs> navy blue shirt button up. You would wear it to like a semi casual, like somewhere you want to look nice, but you're not you're not gonna wear a suit or a tie or anything. Has it got a design on it, like a pattern? Yeah, no, it's just, just straight navy it's blue. It's just a button up navy blue with two two like little pockets on the side. Have you seen the shirt? Is it nice? I'm sure we didn't shut up about it. The deal was probably... He probably talked about it all night. Yeah, it's a great deal. <laughs> Ooh, average. Ooh, average was the word used, huh? In the car, you told me it was the best shirt you ever seen. <laughs> I think she hates the shirt. I think that she hates the shirt. All right, well, let's hear about your me. fucking deal. 
So I don't know. I'm not, like huh? I said. I bet you got fleeced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a deal seeker, like I said. I'm 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 a schlub. I get smoked on the, on the daily. Um. So I went into Acme today. You know, you the, go into the corner store, and when you leave, they're like, "We're smoking that Danny pack. That just Danny got bag. them for five dollars for Danny a pack of Dutchies." Ah. <laughs> uh, no. So I went into Acme on my quest for water, and. You know, it was it was it was a madhouse in there, so I'm, I'm trying to get in, and get out quick. As I'm in Acme, though, as Real I naturally quick, let me do, see the remote. as I as I naturally do in Acme, and Tori tells me this all the time, is like the way I shop brings her anxiety because I just walk in and I'm like, we'll yeah, see I'm, how long that lasts. I'm here for water, right? And then like, oh, I want to get chips, and then we're like, oh, well, let me get, uh, we gotta get rolls. Oh shit! I, we'll go back and get dips for chip. Oh, I need milk. So maybe we'll go. Like I don't have like a fucking idea. You don't go up and down the aisle. Oh, yeah, you need pepper, and you go over to the pepper aisle and get pepper. So I did that, and I went to the chip aisle because I'm having. I'm about, I'm about to make a hoagie tonight for dinner with lunch meat. You gotta have chips. You know, mm-hmm. it's. I'm also addicted to potato chips. Like if I had an addiction, it's weed and potato chips. Those are the two things I strongly crave for when I don't have them. You know, so. The last time I bought chips, couldn't get Uts because Uts wasn't cutting me no deals. Uts was cutting deals today. Fair. I got two bags Fair. for five bucks. I don't want to talk about that deal, though. I want to talk about that fucking Uts display. That shit was looking rough. It was. Bro, it was looking rough. Wait, so you're not even going to tell me the best deal you ever got. We're just going to talk about the Uts display. That was it. Oh, the two for five like, I'm chips? not a deal seeker. I got a good deal today, though. Two for five Uts chips. I got barbecue and, and regular ridges. <laughs> oh, my God. I told yeah, them, the bar was low on your deal. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, because they fucking... I got fleeced on the water. I did get fleeced today. Yeah. I'm not good at it. You got <laughs> fleeced like the inside of a jacket. Dude, I'm not bull. good at it. I'm just not good at making a deal. You got to get out there. You got to ask people in stores questions. Nah, dude. I don't like approaching nobody. I don't want nobody to approach me. I want to just be left alone. I want to do my own thing. I want to go from, you know... The egg aisle to the front again and then get alcohol and go back. That's to the one thing out. I don't like about shoe stores, bro. Not to disrespect. I know you're in the, in the footwear, but yeah, bro. I just hate when people walk up to me and say, hey, you going to help you with Tom? Like, like, like if can I, I help find you? What you're looking you for today? deal, bro. If I find a shoe and I like it, I'll come over to you. Like, I hate when people come up to me. Like, with, with like uh, <laughs> what do you need, bud? You know, and you're like, come on, bro. You got these in the 10. <laughs> Let's get those feet measured for you. Dude, remember when you went in and tried on the Air Force Ones at, at uh, Snipes and the yes. dude was snapping? Yeah. What was he saying there? I forget. Once you pulled the camera out, he was pissed. I forget what he was saying. He was like, y'all can't just be doing that for your video or something. And we were like, but we just did. And we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you said. You were like, but we just did. We just did it. We and we're just, just straight up did it. And we're just going to leave. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> and it, we, felt, we filmed it. We got the footage. <laughs> now, once I went in the Foot Locker in the King of Prussia Mall, and there was this guy. And I walked in. I was just browsing, you know, just, you know, yeah. not intending to buy anything at all. They are just shopping the mall. And uh, this guy called me boss man a, a hundred times in the matter of a minute. He's like, hey, what's going on, boss man? What you looking for, boss man? You like Adidas, boss man? I'm like, Adidas over here, boss man. Boss man, take a look at these Jordans. You like these Jordans? Just drop, boss man. And I was like, dude, sh- sh- stop. And then talking to somebody years later, and they were like, oh, I used to work at Foot Locker. I said, where at? And they're like, can you push more? I said, bro, do you know this guy? He called me boss man. They're like, yeah, it's Steve, bro. He's a nut. He gets crazy commission, bro. He makes so much money. I was like, I bet he does. Because he calls everybody boss, boss man. Boss man. That really must be how you how you... Uh, present yourself to a certain generation because for people to be saying it as much as they do, it's got to work. Also, like, say a store like Foot Locker, right, where they work off commission, just approach every single person because what if they buy a pair of Converse? Like, you could just get commission on it because you said, oh, yeah, put my name. Oh, did anybody help you at the store today? Yeah, the guy, boss man guy over there, Steve, <laughs> said uh, uh, he helped me out. And he just commissioned all day because he approaches every single person. Dude, that's, an- that that's another great deal I got. One time um, at a Foot Locker... I went in, and you know how they had different shoes on sale? I'm looking at every shoe. I really don't like them. And normally, I'm searching for a deal, but I didn't really care. I just needed a pair of sneakers. I'm looking. I'm like, I don't like none of these. And I see this one pair, and I'm like, holy shit. Like, it's the only pair in the whole store that I like. 
and it's on sale for like a stupid price. Like you know, even when they go on sale on Foot Locker, they're like eighty. Maybe yeah. the lowest you'll see is like sixty. Dude, shoes are expensive. The average lucky. price for like a good pair of shoes is like one hundred fifty like, bucks. I think it was like forty, and I was like, yeah, "That's crazy." And I was like, "That's insane." So I asked them if they had the size, and the reason that it was forty is because the last pair they had was a twelve, which is my size, and they were just trying to sell it, so they put it on display and put forty, and it was the only pair in the whole store that I liked, and I ended up getting that pair. That was another great deal I got. No, it's corny. Like in a store, say like they have a TV that's like eight hundred dollars, and they accidentally have it marked for two hundred. The person who walks up is like, "Nope, nope, I saw that tag. I saw that tag. That's two hundred. Like, fuck off, dude." Well, that's what back to the polo story. The lady in the store, I actually stopped her and was like, "Is this wrong? Like the price?" And she said, "Well, it might be. It probably is actually, but it has to be that price." Yeah, no matter what, because you've seen it. But like, you wouldn't go up and be like, "Yeah, fuck you. It's got to be this price." Like, all right, chill. It actually is. Relax. People do that shit. People are nuts. Always looking for a deal. I feel like they were selling TVs for so cheap, like last Christmas time, and now I don't see anything cheaper than like thousand. I just went to Best Buy last night and got a TV, forty three inches, ultra four K definition, two hundred eighty bucks. Yeah, like that's not bad at all. No, that's, that's not like a sale. That's just like that's just that's middle of March price. prices. Yeah, no, it was, it's it, TVs have become definitely cheap. And it's like a thin flat screen TV, no border. It's nice. You know, we haven't talked about it at all. We should touch on before we ride out here. A little March Madness. Dude, I don't know nothing about March Madness. You know what's funny, though? I had Princeton in the first round. You just put him in? Just put him in there. Throw him in there. No, you no. You had a little bracket going on? Yeah. Little illegal gambling? FBI. Freeze. We're here to collect your pipes. This whole podcast has been a sting. Three years in the making. Could you imagine you really ripped off a wire and they arrested me on some crazy shit? Sex I don't know what trafficking. I, arre- I don't know what I would get arrested for. You Sex no trafficking. Dude, we're not in Hollywood like that. We don't... You don't get invited to those parties. But yeah, well, what you do a bracket for? I just did a bracket. And you like haven't ESPN. been watching com. the games? ESPN.com. Uh, no, dude. I, oh, you just did one on ESPN.com for fun? Yeah, I was just fucking around. I don't have like an actual bracket. See, true D-Gen mode, I just didn't even do a bracket, but I just bet on the games. See, that's way more fun. Dude, a yeah, bracket's they, impossible. It's and stupid. they were offering, and it was so fun too, because they were they so were offering good. you a bunch of, what'd you say? I'm going to my nose so bad. Oh, well, just, Give wait, me a shirt. just wait 30 seconds. <laughs> Um, and they were offering a bunch of boosts and stuff on like all the betting stuff, so it made it way more fun. Like, yeah, that's that's fun because those games are good. So if you bet, if you want, if you put money on them, it's a good ass game. You're gonna be so into it. Florida Atlantic, I took them a bu- couple times. They really they worked out for me. I think they were the biggest underdog that I took and hit. I think, and it wasn't even that big. They were like plus maybe two hundred against Tennessee, which I saw them as the favorite there because I just liked them better. Other than that, I don't think I really took any huge underdogs. Anybody who took that team fairly Dickinson over Purdue, super, super lucky. Like, they were like plus 2,600. If you put $100 on that team, you made 2,600. I feel like you just got to you you, you just gotta take that shot in the dark, like putting 100 bucks on Princeton. And that's the time to do it. That is the time to do it. I don't think Princeton was as much of a yeah. underdog. No, I'm just like, making the same they might have been like plus 1,000 or 1,500, Still, but right. same thing. The time to do something like that, to just to just throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks, is March Madness because they literally brand the whole tournament off of that. If if fifteens don't beat twos and sixteens don't beat ones, it's not March Madness anymore. It's yeah. just regular old basketball. Regular just, basketball. Regular basketball. That's all it is. I wonder if, if anybody listens is gonna understand that reference. No. You don't think not one person. Not at like, minute ah. not at minute fifty seven. Yeah, maybe not. I don't maybe. think so. Maybe you, though. It's possible. They might be out there. Anything you want to tell the fans before we uh, ride out here? Just that I love them. And that's it? Yeah. You don't want to tell them about moving on once again from a studio? Yeah, we're going to be in a new studio. But <laughs> in a preview this week. Window, baby. Window. Window seats. Are you a window seat guy on the plane or are you an aisle guy? Sorry, I was just thinking about the window. Window. No, are you a... Uh, aisle. Pl- fuck the window. Yeah, aisle I could see the there. window from the aisle. Yeah. And I could piss freely. Can't see the steward's butt. In your mouth. Stewardess's butt. I mean, my girlfriend's butt when she goes to the bathroom in the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> I heard when you get on a plane, you make her cosplay as a stewardess. Yeah. Make so her, when she make gets her up and goes up and down to the, with the cart the whole fucking time. <laughs> And I'm like, can I get a... Actually, never mind. 
Make her come all the way back. Actually, never mind. Do you have any cracker? Um, never mind. And then right before they have to put the drink carts away, I'm like, Miss, excuse me. Can I have a ginger ale and crackers, please? So, yeah, next time you see us, we'll probably be in a different spot. Yeah. No, we will be. (laughs) No, we will be. There's the only two pieces of furniture left in this house with this chair. And and possibly six feet underground. No limit. Damn. That's been it. Episode 91. We might not have have wood the next time, but yeah, this is 91. 91 Hogan, baby. Peace. Love you. It's a no limit where we live in.